Hello guys, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Today we are discussing application scope. So at the left hand side you see an application navigator. This consists of n number of applications. All these are applications, okay? But here few are global applications and few are custom applications. So when we say application scope, it means the reachability. It means the connection. It means the interaction between the applications. If your business requirement is more sophisticated, it doesn't want other application to interact with the tables, to connect with the tables of your application. In that case, you go with the scoped application. Whereas if the requirement says that the application should be reachable from other applications, or can be easily accessed by other application. In that case, we will go with the scope global. So when someone asks which is better, scoped application or a global application, it totally depends on your requirement, your accessibility needs. There is no better or worse, okay? So let me show you where we create applications. Just go to my company application. This is the application manager. OK, here you have to click on create new. As soon as you click on new, it will ask you the name of the application. Let's say I want a conference booking application. This is the description. Now you have to provide whether it's a scoped application or global application. As soon as we select scoped, it will provide you the scope identifier. This is nothing but a namespace. This is the system generated one, but you can provide as per your choice. Once you select global, you did not any special identifier. No namespace is required. Global means global. So let's create a scoped one. Click on create. Then it will ask roles. Here you have to specify the role for your application or you can create your new role. OK, let's say I want only this role. OK. Click on continue. Journal which format you want. Continue. Again, here you have to specify the table or you can create new table. Once you are done, let's say I want uh, this table to be used. Done with tables. Now you can start working on it. After clicking create, if you can just reload this, you will see an application. Conference booking is here. If you want to edit the application, click on edit. Now you see it redirected us to different application scope. This is the application scope here. And you have all the application menu, the tables you want. If you want to create a new module, everything is available here. So in this way, you can create your scoped application. Now let me show you how to create a global application. Here, yeah. provide the name, provide the description, select the scope, click on create, roll here, continue, select the theme, just select the table, whatever you want, click on start, done. Now just refresh this. You will see this is the application available. You see here. All the applications are stored in the custom application here because both are custom. Though the scopes are different, but both are custom. It means both are created by some user like me. It's not created by service now. That's why it is not. That's why these are not uh, out of box application, but custom applications. Let's open these applications. So you see as soon as I opened this application and this application, I'm seeing the message here because it is prohibiting me to make any update in this application because my current application you can see from here is the global application. Just go to developer. You see the application is global. OK, if I have to make a change, I have to change the application to conference. Conference booking. This is my custom application, right? So now it is done. So if you reload now, you will be able to make changes. 
yes right so this is the overview of scoped application versus global application i hope you like it if you have any question let us know in the comment section thank you have a nice day